I'm Elle, and this piece is called Validation. Oh, I'm fine. I'm, yeah, I'm not fine. We argued again. I don't even know what set him off this time. It's always some trivial matter that can be settled by a common sense approach. You know, I think that's what bothers me the most. The fact that he doesn't see that everything has a logical solution. And our hostilities rob me of my energy, and it's energy that I need to take care of the house and the kids. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> I was actually surprised when I found myself wishing he was dead. Then, then I was ashamed for thinking such a horrible thing, but God, his death would really simplify my life. <laughs> but then how would I take care of the house and the kids? <sighs> if I were financially independent, I would have left years ago. From the moment I saw him naked on our wedding night, our marriage has been a huge disappointment. <laughs> so I did what I always do. I packed up the kids and I went to Starbucks. I was standing there wondering how I would survive without him and I caught my reflection in the mirror over the counter. And I thought, you know, if I maybe put on a little more makeup, curled my hair, dropped a few pounds, I could be hot. And then I looked around. There were men passing time on their cell phones and their laptops, and not one of them even looked at me. And it hurt because I really needed that validation. I was leaving, and a really handsome gentleman held the door open for me. It was such a simple gesture, but at that moment, it meant the world to me. May I ask you a question, I said. He looked a little startled, but said, uh, sure. I'm embarrassed to ask, but this morning I'm, I'm a desperate woman with a fragile ego, so I'm hoping you'll be kind, but honest. Go ahead, he said. Would you, <clears throat> would you pay good money to sleep with me? <laughs> 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 